Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review The Guest. The Guest is directed by Adam Wingard. He's the same director that brought you Your Next, and it does star Dan Stevens and Micah Monroe. And what this film is about is that the soldier randomly appears at the Peterson family's home. And so the Petersons welcome him, so he is, as the title states, the guest, but He's not the kind of guest you think he is. Before I do give you my take on the guest, I'm going to leave it to my guest star, Jackson Fulcher, to review this movie. So, Jackson, take it away, dude. Hello, everybody, on the 22 Tiger Dude YouTube channel, and thank you, Tony, for having me on here. I am really excited to be talking about one of my favorite films from 2014. You could all just excuse this injury I got from having a seven-year-old throw a stick at my face. Please excuse it, I know it's hideous. I remember my first experience with the guest. I was seeing Sin City 2 in the theater, and all of a sudden this teaser trailer plays for this movie I had never heard of. And I was like, what is this movie? The guest? It, this guy is like at this people's house? What is this? And then a month or so after that, I started hearing buzz where the guest was being played. Like, oh my god, this movie is phenomenal. And I was really excited to eventually see it, Unfortunately, it wasn't playing in any of the movie theaters near me, so I had to wait until it was out on DVD. That, that's, that stung a little. But I finally saw The Guest when it came out on DVD, and I rented it, and I gotta say, it was one of my favorites of 2014. The Guest is freaking incredible. Now, the director, Adam Wingard, apparently he made a couple of the shorts in the VHS films. I haven't seen those. And he made a horror film called You're Next, which I haven't seen. But this movie makes me really want to go see them, because this guy, the... Adam Wingard really crafted this movie very well, especially, especially with that awesome, awesome soundtrack. The soundtrack to The Guest is phenomenal and reminded me of Drive, the symphonicness of it. Just all of the songs are just so great. And listening to the soundtrack in the movie just put me in this weird zone that I just can't explain, but it just the movie quality up for me because that soundtrack man oh if if you have no interest in seeing the guests number one please do but number two if you really like music then the soundtrack it's good for you dan stevens plays the guest in this movie and he is freaking great not only is he mysterious but in some ways he is likable even though he is an unlikable character i'm not going to spoil anything that happened to him you'll just have to see the movie yourself if you don't know it but there are a couple things that are revealed that are just like okay but overall dan stevens was phenomenal he was great there are some aspects that you liked about it especially one good scene where he's kind of threatening this school principal i'm not going to spoil what goes down but it's a really great scene oh and a bar scene where he beats the crap out of a bunch of bar people so good and that's another thing the action scenes that take place in this movie are very well crafted they're handled extremely well dan stevens nails all the stunts that goes on and there's even one great scene and in my opinion the standout scene in this halloween haunted maze at a school which was really good there's like hall of mazes and there's like little places to duck behind while like while someone is walking up like oh don't let them see you or just a bunch of fog is up like really suspenseful mood and setting the entire finale of this movie is really good and mako monroe she was really good in this movie she plays the girl who might have a little crush on dan stevens but then when she learns some stuff she's like oh maybe i should get away from you she was really good in this movie in fact she was in a horror film earlier this year called it follows she was also pretty good and i think she's going to be a really good actress in the future and so far from what i've seen she's nailing it and the young boy in the movie brendan mayer he was really good in the movie also he forms like you know that kind of friendship with the guy like you don't know him but he's really cool is helping him out at school so he's like yeah we're buddies man it's like you recognize that relationship and you really buy it and at first the whole idea of this movie was actually really cool i like the suspense I like the action, I like the acting, everyone nailed their performance. And like I said, my only flaw with this movie is the fact that when some things about the plot are revealed later on, it just kind of took me out of the moment for a bit. But all in all, The Guest is one of my favorite films of 2014. If you like music, if you like action, if you like great acting, if you like movies in general, 
then you should see The Guest. Lots of suspense in the movie also. The Guest is a film you should be looking for if you haven't seen it yet. I'm going to give The Guest an A. So guys, that's all for me. I'm going to swing it right back to 22 Tiger Dude, and I just want to thank you all for having me on here. And Tony, thank you so much. I really appreciate your videos, man. And you're a really good friend to me, and just wanted to say that. Thanks for being awesome, man. And to all the people that are watching this video who haven't subscribed to 22 Tiger Dude, maybe you should because he's pretty cool. All right, that's all for me. Tony, you're up. What was that? Thank you so much, Jackson, for reviewing The Guest. Now, when I heard about The Guest, you know, I've only seen the trailer maybe like a couple of times. And I'll admit, the trailers didn't really capture my attention. However, I did want to give the guest a chance. But since it didn't come into my area, you know, in theaters, I did wait to watch this movie from Netflix. After I saw the guest, I can honestly say this is one of the most surprising movies of 2014. And it is one of the best movies of 2014. Wow was I actually blown away when I watched this movie. Because like I said, I came into this movie with really not much expectations and I came out of this movie so surprised. The score to the guest is marvelous. Dan Stevens, great job here. He does a very convincing job of playing that nice guy that seems suspicious. There's layers to his character that just makes him so interesting. They do have Micah Monroe, who is another actress I had no idea about until I saw this movie. And just like with Dan Stevens, she already impressed the hell out of me. And this movie takes some weird twists and turns that for the most part, I didn't see coming. The movie just has such an awesome concept to it and how it was written was magnificent. The movie is just written so magnificently. Like the script for the movie is fantastic. How the concept was handled was handled just so beautifully. And I'm just constantly at the edge of my seat. I love being into this world and I really wanted to see how this movie was gonna go down because you know, there's certain things about Dan Stevens' character that you just can't quite trust. And just how the movie was building and building until when you get to the climax of the movie, it's just terrific. And it does take some weird twists and turns that I can maybe see turn off some people. But when you're on the ride, you are on the ride with this movie. And it's just an absolute blast to watch. And honestly, the movie does have one of the most creative and most inventive climaxes I've seen. I'm not going to say what scene it is in the climax because I feel like it'll be a spoiler. But all this is that the climax was just so awesome. I was blown away by the climax. I was at the edge of my seat and I loved how by the climax you got more of that 80s vibe to it because of the music that's constantly playing with all of the events that are just happening. The rest of the performances like from Micah Monroe's brother in the movie. I thought he did a really good job. The parents did a really good job and the same goes to everyone else that's really in the movie. And I do have to give huge credit to writer Simon Barrett because he really did a very great job coming up with these weird little twists and turns and just giving us great characters and also just making us have a lot of fun. And then you have Adam Wingard who just brings you into this atmosphere. Now, the only problem I do have with the guest is that there were a few things in the finale that I actually called out. I would say, I think even 25 minutes into the movie, I called my prediction and I was right in a few spots during the climax and I'm all like, okay, well, that was predictable. But honestly, that's really the only flaw I have with the guest, guys. Overall, the guest is fan freaking fantastic. It's one of the best movies of 2014, hands down. Definitely one of the most surprising movies of 2014 because I really didn't have much expectations going into this movie, but I'm definitely glad I saw it because it is worth checking out. So I'm going to give the guest four out of four stars. 
So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think of the guest. And I also want to thank my guest star, Jackson Fulcher, for coming here to review the guest. He's a very awesome movie reviewer, guys. Very cool dude. So if you guys have not checked out his channel, I will leave a link in the description below. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!